Hi, everybody. My name is Melanie Taylor, and I'm the Director of Education for Eat, Breathe, Thrive, a nonprofit that works to prevent and help individuals recover from eating disorders. And I am one of the four co-hosts of the upcoming Yoga and Recovery Virtual Symposium that's on healing eating disorders and addiction on September 23rd to 25th. Today, I have the immense pleasure of introducing you to Joe Fagan, who is part of the Be Yogi team. He is the Director of Strategic Partnerships. And I thought I would help uh, share a little bit of his organization and why they decided to help us get the word out. So Joe, thank you so much for being with me today. It's lovely to meet you. Did you want to share a bit about yourself? Well, thank you, Melanie. Thank you so much for not only this wonderful partnership, thank you for giving us the opportunity to you know, work with you guys in an organization that does so, so much that we align with so much in terms of values and just appreciate this, this spot as well today. Um, what to say about me? I, I you know, I, the, I guess the one thing I, I would mention is my, you know, my um, journey into yoga and into this, into this health and wellness space is kind of different than everybody else's. I really, you know, a lot of people who, you know, may find themselves in a business suited for yoga or suited for fitness, typically are a yoga or fitness enthusiast who, 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 who kind of drives into that. I, I was a little bit of the opposite. I, I've been in, in sales and marketing for, for a long time and happened to um, uh, find this wonderful company who brought me on to help them grow this liability insurance business designed for you know, health and wellness practitioners. So um, you know, fast forward 10 years and now I eat, breathe, and live yoga. And, you know, I do it a couple of times a week. And, you know, fitness is, 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 is probably the most important thing that I, you know, focus on every day. So, you know, my journey was a little bit different, but I, I absolutely find myself in the right spot. I love what we do. I love working in the industry, finding ways where we can support the industry and help support wonderful companies like you, like yours. Oh, I love that. Yoga sneaky that way. Hey, it kind of sneaks in. Uh, it finds most of us at some point. And I love that it was work that kind of brought you to it, something that sounds very personal to you now as well. Um, Joe, you mentioned um, partnership, and I know this is a big part of your role. Um, and we chatted a little bit before we started today about what it's, what strategic partnerships really are and how they help and how that both is very important for what you do, but also is a big part of what we're doing at the symposium is bringing together people from all parts of the demographics that are working with people with eating disorders and with addiction. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about strategic partnership and, and what's your take on, on how to really foster incredible relationships that, as I put it in, in your uh, LinkedIn bio, that benefit everyone. <laughs> well, thank you. You asked a question that I am delighted to answer because it is it is something I'm very, very passionate about. I am. Um, I find that, you know, partnerships it, for, for our business specifically and in the industry we're in seems to be such a an important piece to what we do. And now I can see, you know, if I look back to, you know, other things that I've done in my career, probably focusing on partnerships could have tremendously helped our business. But anyway, we're, 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 what I mean by that is, you know, we, you know, we, we are at the core of what we do. We are we're a membership program, but basically we solve the need of offering of of, li of, of, of needing liability insurance. So if a yoga instructor needs liability insurance to work at a yoga studio, whether it's on her own or at a, at a, at a location, and we do this for various other industries. Um, you know, so, uh, so, so, you know, again, we, we offer liability insurance and liability insurance is something that it's, while it's extraordinarily important, it's not necessarily something people want to buy. You know, you're, it's, it's, you're, you're buying something that you hope you never use, which is a kind of a weird psychological thing. And, and, and we hope you never use it because that's, you know, it's, it's, it's typically an event that occurs that when you have to use it. So we go to really great lengths to form partnerships that benefit our customers in various ways beyond insurance. So um, partnerships can really look like a couple of different things. It can be finding companies who have similar audiences to ours and finding ways where we could tell each other's story to each other's audience, if you will. So, you know, share emails and social posts and things like that, if it is a reputable organization that we're interested in aligning with. And the other kind of path for partnerships is us um, kind of searching the ecosystem and looking for companies who have products and services that our customers might benefit from, and then negotiating some type of discounted or value added access to that, to that program or to that company. So we might, so, so our customers now, when they enroll in BOG insurance, not only do they get what they came to purchase, the liability insurance, which is required, and hopefully they never have to use, but they also are able to achieve all of these wonderful industry specific discounts on things like you know, mats and tools and continuing education. And even now 
you know, access to uh, dental insurance and vision insurance and telemedicine and ACA approved healthcare insurance. So a lot of the stuff that people in our industry have a difficult time finding because they may not work for a major employer, you know, we've gone to great lengths to build a program that supplies that to them. And that's, you know, that's, that's been such a strong strategy for us. I'd, you know, I'd say somewhere between a third and 50% of our business is driven through partnerships. Hmm. I love that. And they said so many, um, there's so much gold in what you shared. I'm going to pull out a couple key things. I think being a yoga teacher and a yoga therapist myself for many, many years, uh, a teacher of teachers, one thing that I hear often um, is that as a solopreneur often, or an entrepreneur working in a studio, you may not have that wealth of support and information. And that's what I was really taken by when I looked at um, the BU, because I, I've been a follower for many, many years. I'm in Canada, so I use one of your subsidiaries insurance with Gallagher. Um, but the amount of support and information um, that you make available, which I think is really abnormal uh, when it comes to, I mean, my husband's in the insurance field. I definitely have my own experience with insurance. I think we all do, but I really get the sense of community and bringing together the ability to help yoga teachers, yoga therapists to do the work that we do in our communities and supporting other people. Um, so thank you for that. I think that's really important and really valuable. Well, I'm curious. Welcome, yeah, I mean, I know partnership and things are really um, important for your organization. I will say I sent out um, the messages as the, the uh, coordinator for sponsorships and supporting organizations. And the message I got back from your organization took minutes. And, and I mean minutes. Um, it was the first person that reached back out to me with incredible enthusiasm. And I so I've got the sense of community and building those partnerships. What drew you guys to wanting to support this particular symposium and working on how yoga can now help not just yoga as far as like helping people do yoga and get the benefits of yoga but as a tool to support people with their recovery with eating disorders and addiction what really drew be yogi to that well all credit goes to rob schwer he is the one that made us aware of give back yoga foundation of course eat breathe thrive and everything that you guys do um, you know, we, uh, you know, my, my role as director of strategic partnerships, you know, director of business development, my, you know, I, I am constantly looking for and sourcing reputable companies who are looking to forward the industry, ones that we could partner with and align with who have visions or um, visions, uh, similar mission statements, excuse me, similar to ours. Nothing could be more perfect than a partnership with the Give Back Yoga Foundation. So Rob and I happened to connect a, a few years ago, right before the pandemic, if you will, and you know, we discussed, we laid out ways that we could help, you know, we could support Give Back Yoga Foundation, ways that in return, we could get some exposure for what we do and just kind of create this, this wonderful partnership. And, um, and we, we started things, of course, the pandemic happened and a lot of, you know, a lot of things just went flipped, you know, flipped over as we all know. Um, but so, so not that we lost touch, but we didn't really fulfill all the goals that we had really set out at the beginning. So fast forward to the yoga teacher conference, which happened earlier this year um, out in Denver, Colorado. Great, wonderful uh, event that occurred. Uh, at a, surprisingly, I didn't know he was going to show up. Rob showed up and we ended up sitting down and just kind of recapped everything that had happened in the last two years and just realized, what, what are we doing? We need to really press go on this. And and see how we can make, you know, see what we can do. And from there, that's that's really what's happened is we've just, you know, we learned is, is you know, a lot more about what you guys do, kind of where you had grown. I sat in a couple of Rob's sessions at that, excuse me, at that uh, conference and heard just some of the amazing stories that came from the work done by Give Back Yoga Foundation in terms, you know, some stories about, you know, going to prisons and giving and, 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 and the challenges from that, you know, working with these, you know, these under these underserved communities and couldn't have been more inspired to hear what what folks have been doing for so long and you know really just want to amplify that message in any way that we can so I give all credit to Rob I mean granted we you know we were interested in this type of partnership but it was Rob Schwer who really lit the fire hmm. I completely understand your feeling of <laughs> Rob he's one of my favorite people uh, it's such a pleasure to to be with him you know when they started the Give Back Yoga Foundation on this um, belief of yoga can change a life. And I know through the Give Back Yoga Foundation, uh, I work for one of our legacy programs, Give Back, uh, Eat, Breathe, Thrive. 
but you mentioned a couple of the other ones that we um, engage with. And so working with addiction was the other one that's part of our symposium, but also the prison project um, is another really important part of the work that is done there and a few others. And so I'd love to hear um, a bit of a personal level. So you mentioned about, you know, just getting involved in yoga. And so in that light of how yoga can change a life, how has yoga changed your life? Oh my goodness. In, in, in the most positive ways imaginable. I'm you know, I'm healthier, I'm stronger, I surf better, which is huge for me because that's my favorite, you know, that's one of my two favorite things in the world to do. And I didn't realize that just by focusing on different, different activities, the ways to move my body would so much help that piece of it, which is, you know, I can't tell you the, the mental health payoff that has occurred from that. But really, at the end of the day, I've just, I've been stiff as a board my whole life. I've, you know, I've worked out and I've just, I've kept somewhat fit, but I did not realize the uh, the, the lack of mobility that was occurring from, you know, just that my day-to-day -day activities for 40 years, sitting in an office, typing on a computer. And, you know, once I, you know, once I got through, well, it took probably about 15 classes before things really started to click because those first 15, I was just embarrassed and stiff and sweating and thought I was doing everything wrong, which I was. And, you know, eventually you kind of get it and start doing better at it. and I can't I mean I just it's hard for me to even explain the payoff that has occurred I move better I feel better and and and, and it's it's not just that one thing that thing has occurred has made me make other changes in my life I eat better I'm I'm, I'm kinder I, I breathe I, it's just there's so it's had so much of a payoff mm, I love that <laughs> thank you for sharing that on a bit of a personal note um well I want to give you an opportunity first of all you know to be thanked from Give Back Yoga Foundation, obviously, uh, for, from Eat, Breathe, Thrive, our other two partners, uh, Yoga 12 Steps for Recovery for Addiction, as well as the International Association of Yoga Therapists. Um, you have our deepest gratitude for being part of sharing this symposium, helping us make this available, and really bringing together leading thought uh, thought. Um, thinkers and people doing this work of how yoga can really transform the treatment of addiction and, and disorders, um, which ultimately leads to thriving. And that's what I heard you just describe, thriving, having a thriving life, having thriving health, having thriving mental health. So thank you so much on behalf of our entire team for doing so. And I wanted to end by giving you an opportunity to tell people how to connect with the Yogi, um, how to find out about the incredible offers that you have. Um, so feel free to share whatever. This is your time. Go ahead. <laughs> sure. Well, thank you again, Melanie. And again, just can't, can't appreciate the, this time and this, this wonderful partnership. Now, um, I do want to, 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 to very quickly say that our program, like all other programs that we're aware of in the marketplace, are bound to a single country code. So our program at beyogi.com, it is, we do offer liability insurance, kind of the full suite of liability insurance, but it is for U.S.-based and U.S. territory-based yoga instructors. Um, I say that because I know there's a global audience here, and I just want to make sure that that's not confused. So we do have a, as um, as Melanie had mentioned, you know, we are now a part of a bigger, a much larger company, Arthur J. Gallagher, who acquired us right before the pandemic, which, by the way, how lucky were we to get a, a, a major company to acquire us right before a global pandemic? You can't write luck like that, but it did happen. And not only have we benefited, it's tremendously benefited our customers, too, because they've brought a tremendous amount of value um, into our program. But because of that also, so we now have sister companies who have a program, as you mentioned, in Canada who works with the Yoga Alliance and even in, in, some, in some spots overseas. So if there's any questions about that, feel free to reach out and we'll try to point you in the right direction. But Yogi, the program that we run for the U.S.-based folks, um, please get, give us a look. You know, we, we built this program with a couple of ideas in mind. We wanted to have the most comprehensive, the strongest coverage in the marketplace for one of the lowest prices. And we have we've really have accomplished that. It's an occurrence form policy. It's not a claims made policy. If you don't know what the difference is, take a look because there's a vastly huge difference in those two. And most folks come with this, we don't want to call it cut rate insurance, but this lower cost insurance, it costs less, it's claims made, but um, ours is not. It's occurrence form, just meaning that you can report a claim anytime. It can be after your policy period, and a lot of claims come in after the policy period expires. So anyway, look that up. So ask those questions. But uh, our program not only has the professional and general liability insurance, which you're going to need if you run or work for a yoga studio, it has rental damage insurance. So if you're renting a space, that's already that's automatically covered. It's got some um, identity theft protection because we learned a lot of folks who are getting certified were getting susceptible to cyber attacks. It's just one of those weird things that happen nowadays. And so our customers have been happy about that. And then we also include some stolen and or damaged equipment insurance. So it's really kind of, it's almost like a business owner's policy, but really designed for the individual. So if you work for a yoga studio or if you run your own, but you, you don't have W-2 employees, you may be able to use our program. And 
again, it retails for only $179 a year. Um, we do have a, a special discount for all everybody who's in the Give Back Yoga ecosystem, whether you just are watching this or know who Give Back Yoga is, or if you just want to go to the link, it's okay. Um, but beyogi.com forward slash Give Back Yoga um, is the link where you can find that $10 discount and some additional benefits, uh, some additional fundraising efforts per policy are given to the Give Back Yoga Foundation, which Again, if you have not looked into what Give Back Yoga Foundation is doing, please do. I was inspired the minute I learned about it and continue to be more and more inspired the more I learn about it. And we couldn't be more excited to be aligned with uh, this wonderful organization. Thank you, Melanie. Oh, thank you, Joe. And thank you for sharing. I think uh, I teach yoga teachers and uh, one day maybe I'll record you or take a part of this recording and just play it in the studio when they're learning. Uh, I think you've covered some really important things that maybe is harder to think about when what we want to do is help people with yoga. And uh, so thank you so much for sharing that, for being who you are in the world and for taking this time out of your day to chat with us. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to uh, staying connected with you as well. Thank you so Fantastic. much. Thanks, Melanie. Look forward to that as well. And any more, anytime that we can return the favor, and uh, it, we, we, we're delighted to. We'd love to learn ways we can support you even more. <laughs> well, I'm sure Rob's going to hear this, and he'll reach out really shortly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> Bye.